What's up guys, Wendy here and welcome back to my channel. I just purchased some of the most amazing books. <laughs> if you want to see which books I purchased, keep watching. All right, so let's get into this haul. I'll make it quick. So the first thing that I purchased from Home Goods was this really cute decor piece for I guess a bookshelf. This here was $29.99, it was regular price, 50 bucks. And y'all, I had something similar to this in my bookshelf and it just didn't give me that wow factor. I couldn't figure out why I didn't like it. I purchased, um, actually it's right here. This is what I had in my bookshelf. This was from Ikea. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, but what was bugging me was that it was super thin. So compared to the other stuff that I purchased, it just, the scale wasn't, it wasn't right. So this here, I think is so fun. It looks like a black slinky to me. And it has the thickness that I am looking for. So, so the next thing I did was pick up a bunch of books. This year is all about owning interior design. Quick story, last year I was going to sign up at the um, Florida Institute, Art Institute. And I went and saw, saw a counselor, did financial aid, all of that good stuff. And when I went and sat with the counselor, of course, we're talking about decor because we both love it and design and architecture and all this stuff. So I'm showing her my work and she was like, I don't even think you need to go to school for this. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And she was like, honey, no, you kind of, you're making money already. You really probably don't even need to go to school. So, I mean... That was a nice compliment, but at some point I do want to go to school for this. But in the meantime, I just been buying books. One, because they look cute, and two, need to learn something. Gotta have something up here. So the books that I picked up was this one. This is called Girl Mobile, and it says Dream It, Do It, Change the World. And I thought this was really a nice, um, a nice book. I flipped through it. It had a lot of inspirational stuff. And it was only 10 bucks so yeah i like inspirational books as well as educational and i feel like that's what i picked up but then i picked up this bohemian book and this is a really nice book it gives you like a lots of um inspirational pictures as well as like information on how bohemian uh, designs are created because I'm not that good with boho um, or like the bohemian style but I really like it it's, it's really fun to me and then I picked up this book it's called the DIY style finder and this one was $14.99 and I flipped through it it had some cute stuff too I just think these are good books for content because sometimes you can't explain how to do stuff and so you need inspiration so that's why i picked that book up let's see it's a lot of books y'all the next book that i picked up was this one here and this is the lani home and it's Di discovering it's titled discovery and cultivating your most authentic space and i thought that was really nice because when I design, I try to like give it character, try to give it the space character. And not just um, from a design standpoint, but like from the person's personality standpoint. And it had a lot of different inspirational pictures in here as well. And then it also just looks really good on the outside. Um, it's marble and it has some pinks. So I had to get it. And this book here was $16.99. These books here, I didn't purchase um, in this go round, but I, I purchased them maybe like a week ago, but I didn't, I want to share them with you. Look whose book I picked up. Hey, this chick right here, she's bad. Her and her husband. So I picked up Homebody, which is Joanna Gaines' book. And um, this book was $19.99. And the regular price, I want to say was $50 if I'm not mistaken or $27 might be $27 but anyway I picked this book up it's really cute um this one is gray with the gold writing and very 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 informative if you ever wondered how Joanna Gaines um creates her designs for her flips 
she spells it out like to the T, like, mm, thank you so much. So actually after I read this book, I think I decided to redo my um, dining little area or whatever. And I felt like I was channeling her and even my kitchen. I feel like I was channeling Joanna Gaines. I love her style. I'm more so into the modern side, not the farmhouse chic, but yeah. And then I found this really cute Kate Spade book. I love Kate Spade, man. Rest in peace. Anyway, this book is called She, and it's so dope. Oh my gosh, it's so dope. It has a pink metallic um, edging, so it just looks really pretty. And then some of the pages have this really cool pink film. It's really nice. Sorry, it's loud, y'all. It's like a mush hour or something. I dropped this book, and this has like a fabric texture to it. Oh, and this matches one of my notepads. Ah, oh, see? Thought this was really cute. But this is another inspirational book. So, mainly that's to give me ideas, you know? So my channel won't get boring. And then I also picked up these pens from Home Goods, y'all. I am the most weird person. Like I love pens and I love stationery and my handwriting is trash. <laughs> it's so bad, but I don't care. So these pens um, were actually $16.99 and they came with a pack of 12 and they are felt tips. So I feel like they're gonna be really cute and hopefully it'll help my penmanship. But anyway. That is pretty much all that I picked up from Home Goods. Like I said, I told y'all it was a whole bunch of books. It was all books besides my little decor piece. I take that back. And then I also picked up these, um, what is this, uh, a set of 12 napkins. And I just thought they were very, very, um, very clean and modern. This is a 100% cotton material. And like I said, it comes with 12. So if I get a bigger table in the future, I'll be able to use these. But yeah, I just thought they look so nice and clean. So yeah, I just thought they looked so nice and clean and they were only $12.99. So I picked these up and then all right, so done with Home Goods. Next is Target. I went to Target and I picked up two things, and I actually have both of them already. Um, if you guys saw my part two of my kitchen um, upgrade video, then you would have saw this basket, and it's from Joanna Gaines' collection, Hearth and Hand. I've been saying Hearth and Home, so you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I really like this basket. I have lemons in my basket to the right, and I'm thinking I may put like some cuties or something in this one. But yeah, I just think this is so cute. And this basket is only $8.99, guys. It's not bad at all. And then the last item that I picked up from, or the other item that I picked up from Target was this faux plant and I had this one already in white but the more I look at it the more I realize I don't like this plant because it's not black with the black and the greenery it just gives it that modern industrial type of feel I feel like the white gives it more of a farmhouse feel for me so I'm gonna see how it looks and um, probably take the white one back so so like I said, I told y'all I bought a lot of books because I really, 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 really want to master different design styles. My personal style is modern, like mid-century modern, and then I like rustic too, with a touch of glam. But I do want to know like what makes a, a complete bohemian style room or a contemporary room or industrial. So I'm investing in my learning. So that's pretty much all I got. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will get to it. Give me about five days. In the meantime, don't forget, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay chic on a budget. 
and i will talk to you guys on the next upload bye guys